All right, so this is a pretty cool machine overall, and we just uh, getting this one all prepped up to go out to Andrew in Colorado. And uh, I thought I'd just make some demonstrations on this because it has every possible upgrade and option that you can think of, at least for the class of machines that uh, we carry here. So um, a lot of different features and functions. So let's just jump into uh, the basics of that. So the first feature that uh, we're gonna show you real quick is the laser check system. We'll have some videos on that, but that's about a $25,000, $28,000 option depending on which machine. The uh, the number of axes is eight plus one. You can see we got a nice, beautiful sticker on there. Uh, so what are eight axes? So you have Y1 and Y2. Actually, this is more like nine axes because this is actually the, the A8 axis right here. So. It's nine plus one technically. Uh, so let's count them up. So we have Y1, Y2 independent cylinder control over both cylinders. The plus one is the crowning system right here. That's our crowning motor that drives some wedges underneath the bed to when you have a full five foot wide piece, uh, you have a natural crowning that occurs and this compensates for that. So that's, uh, so that's that. Then you have all the axes of the back gauge. So one of them is independent uh, X. And so if you, uh, let me show you that. So that's independent X1 and X2, two axes. So now we have Z1 and Z2 left and right independent movement. Next, we have R1 and R2 height, individually controllable. So let's take a look at that. So the next thing to look at on this one, it has a very nice submerged gearbox. If you look right here, that's actually the flange for the gearbox right there and the actual gearbox is inside the tank so super quiet operation the, the pump is running and you can hear when this thing is actually actuating the hydraulics how quiet it is and you compare that to this shear which has a traditional uh, your traditional hydraulic you know regular hydraulic motor you got to listen to that all day so as I mentioned, this machine uh, comes with this full pallet of tooling, including, you know, gooseneck punches. Um, and it has the Willis style hydraulic punch clamp system, which is super nice. And uh, so basically you open and close the hydraulic system here. So that uh, lets you move everything freely. And then when you get things where you want it, you just lock it back in and you heard this short hydraulic engagement now, now everything's locked tight. All right, so one of the cool things about this kind of tooling is it is uh, reversible. So you can just flip the punches in, in or out to get the back relief to be in the back or in the front, wherever you may need it. Square that up. Now, if I put that there, and you can see that doesn't work, but if we grab a fresh piece,
Now, if I were to put that back in there again like that, we know it's gonna collide and bend up, but we can use the front relief. We'll index this to the next step. Uh, it looks pretty good. It might be like a, a half a degree or, or less, maybe 0.2 or 3 degrees overbent. Oh, let me show you. So the 3D software has got the part rotated and it's always going to show you what flange needs to go in next. So, and then there's our U channel. So we can put our angle finder on that and check that, but that looks pretty good down through there. So before anybody gets bent out of shape about, you know, 90.2 or whatever, take a look. Angles accurately plus or minus 0.3 degrees. Okay, so that that's a six degree swing. So these guys here, they're handy. You can get a rough measurement, but you're not going to get a precision measurement on that. Time to get this one loaded up and headed over to Andrew over in Colorado Springs at True Focus Fabrication.